Okay, we're just going to try and give you some traveling tips here for when we go to most major resorts or any beach locations. This is mostly pertaining to Cuba. We recently got back from Cuba, so there's a couple specific things we're adding on because of that. So we find uh, travel mugs. You need a travel mug at all these new resorts. They're giving you these little plastic Dixie cups, which literally you take two sips. You're going to be coming right back to the bar. You're pretty much going to be stuck to the bar if you don't have one of these things. They have travel mugs at the gift shops at most resorts but they're going to be like 30 to 40 dollars it's a rip off they got their little logo on there other than that they're a normal travel cup so bring your own for sure uh size is kind of to your liking most people might bring two different sizes a big big one for the big drinks if they want to go to the beach for a couple hours you almost want a smaller one though because once you uh go for an excursion in town or something like that and you want to bring one you're gonna to have to be lugging it around wherever you go you don't want one of those huge huge ones either so that's 100 percent personal preference i'll leave that one up to you um if you're going to cuba and you can't live without something like mustard or cheese whiz or peanut butter make sure you bring a little pack of mustard cheese whiz or peanut butter with you because the resorts might not have these you're not going to find them at any local grocery stores and the resort might even run short on certain days so it's just nice to have them worst case you don't use them you can share them with somebody else or give them to one of the maids they can't get this stuff very much so they love that uh, we bought some quick dry beach towels off amazon they're kind of like a microfiber they were awesome uh, you don't have to bring the resort towels because they just get packed full of sand and they take forever to dry it's really humid at these resorts so stuff does take a lot longer to dry especially if you can't get a sunny room so these uh towels they would dry in the wind on the beach right after use they were pretty good they packed up into pretty much a small nalgene water bottle very small very light nice patterns on them and they're under 20 bucks so good deal too uh beach blanket was also nice to have but this big beach blanket off amazon had couple pegs in these little uh, pockets where you could put the sand in it to weigh it down so the wind was not a problem this worked very well we could set it up wherever we wanted to could put it under a tree in the sun right up at the water it's kind of cool like that a lot recommend that um, for some beach toys we had the skipping pool balls and a frisbee the frisbees has gotten a lot of lot better guys I can actually throw one now in a straight line even into the wind so it's not me it's definitely the technology the frisbees again off amazon they were 10 bucks for two of them uh the pool balls which was great we met a lot of people we were throwing them around could skip them on the water met a lot of good friends doing this and i'm sure everybody else enjoyed having something else to do uh, bluetooth speaker definitely bring one of these it can be a small one big one they're all shapes and sizes now but at least you can listen to your own music whether you're at the beach in your room uh, you know on your balcony relaxing in a hammock around the resort wherever you want it's really nice to have this uh, wet wipes toilet paper and a backpack three things that you will need the backpack is easy you can throw your stuff going to the beach you can throw your stuff going in there going to town if you're in town if you buy stuff you can throw it in the backpack uh, it's a little bit of a safeguard so that people don't see anything out in the open toilet paper Especially in Cuba, you are going to find bathrooms without toilet paper. You're going to find bathrooms without toilet seats. You're going to find bathrooms without running water. And this is all in town. So <laughs> it's a little different place. Definitely bring some toilet paper with you. And wet wipes is also great too. A lot of the restaurants, even the quick taco places or any place that you're going to get pizzas, they don't have a lot of napkins, paper napkins so the wet wipes is definitely a good thing when you squeeze out a whole bunch of juice all over your shirt or your leg we did that a couple times um travel chargers some of the older resorts in cuba are going to be 220 volt and not have the same plugins or adapt to the plugins that you have on your normal north american chargers they have a two pin it's like a round pin connector you can get those again off Amazon. They're really cheap. 10, 15 bucks will get you two of them. Don't need anything fancy. I've seen 50, 60 dollar ones. They're not going to do anything fancier than that. Other than if you have a curling iron or something that's going to use a lot of electricity. Apparently those have something that you need for that. So look into that 
if need be. A flashlight's a great idea. The resorts can lose power, we've heard, for up to a couple hours at a time. We've never experienced this, but it would be very nice in another country when the power goes out to know where you're going or at least get back to your room. Um, snacks. If you guys like or enjoy snacks, it could be pops or chocolate bars or peanuts, gum. It's very hard to find that stuff out here. They don't really have any at the resorts that we've seen. Uh, the pop is more of a Fanta style, no name kind of brand. They don't have any Pepsi or Coke or anything like that that we found. We did find one place that had 7-Up, just 7-Up. That was different. Uh, but yeah, if you guys drink Coke Zero or anything like that, Pepsi, anything, you're not going to find it there. So bring what you want for that. Energy drinks, we brought 10 energy drinks with us just in case. Uh, there was energy drinks we did see at one place, but they were pretty pricey. So again, if you can bring those, if you want them, bring them. Uh, another thing is is uh, simple as gum. We didn't find any gum any places we went to. We didn't look too hard for it because we did bring it. But uh, even giving it to the locals was a treat because they got a thrill out of it. And they just kept smelling the package because they've never smelt that kind of gum before. It was kind of neat. Just a one, two dollar gift and it made their day, which was awesome to see. Okay, now with tipping and stuff like that, don't tip them in change, especially Canadian change. It's really hard for them if they even can exchange it at their banks for normal money. So use American $1 bills. We found is the cheapest for everybody. Canadian $5 bills, which are a little more, but it's about the same as a 2 or $3 bill for the States. Um, and yeah, do them a favor, leave them a tip. It doesn't take much. They're ecstatic for anything you leave them. Uh, we asked the ladies at our resort if they had any coins to trade in for bills. We traded a whole bunch of bills for coins because, again, they can't trade those in at the bank. So we did them a favor and went back to Canada with some extra coins. No problem here to change those in. And in the rooms, earplugs for sleeping at night. A lot of these rooms are the hotel style, so there's not a lot of space in between the rooms. It's usually just a paper thin wall. And most of the hotels kind of face an amphitheater of live entertainment at night. So if there's any loud people in the area, it's just going to amplify the sound. If the disco is still playing, it's going to be very loud. If you have kids, if you're elderly, you just want to get some shut-eye for an afternoon nap, earplugs or noise-canceling headphones are definitely the way to go. Um, last thing, hot water. We had hot water every time we tried for hot water. We've heard from other people this can be a problem at some other resorts or at certain times. Some of the eco-friendly resorts we were in in Mexico shut the water off at midnight until I think 4 or 5 in the morning, which makes sense. Um, every other day or every other time they had hot water in Cuba we definitely had hot water every time so this can be a problem we've heard so we recommend if you want to have a shower maybe have one right before bed at an off time when nobody else kind of does it or maybe wake up a little earlier and beat the shower rush in the mornings make sure you get a shower so you don't have to sit there and wait for one and that's all folks thanks for listening and watching Please like and subscribe to our channel. It means a lot to us to help grow the channel. And have a great day. Thank you again.